So mm-hmm. the free use and the step, it's like, I'm getting what I'm getting out of it as a stepmom and the stepson is getting what he's getting out of it, but we're not really interacting with each other during the scene, which is very odd for me because I talk a lot um, in my scenes. So I'm trying to allow the viewer to understand what I'm going through throughout the scene. So I verbally promote that. And with this free use, it's almost like I just continue to do laundry while my stepson has his way with me. But it's not really he's having his way with me because I'm consenting to it as well. And it's a whole new genre of of porn that's been out there that I've been shooting recently. So explain to me the free use genre, because I actually have never heard that term before. What do you mean specifically by that? Um, From my gathering of just trying to pull information, it's a Japanese-based, like, porn. Mm -hmm. Now, my free use is different than their free use. Like, my free use is we establish rules um, within the household, if you will, um, and you kind of, you ask and you can get which I guess, if anything, I mean, in this world, if you ask, you're going to get an answer of whatever you want. But in this fantasy world, you're getting exactly what you want. But we're Mm -hmm. allowed to connect with each other and um, respond to the actions that each of us are doing. Uh, So I can react to the sex that I'm having. I can orgasm. Whereas some of this free use porn from Japan, the rules are established that you're pretty much allowed to do whatever you want to do. But like I was saying, like the laundry situation, I'm wearing a shirt or a skirt with no panties on. My stepson comes up to me and he has a heart on. Um, I just kind of lift up my skirt, show him that I don't have any panties that means I'm ready for sex. It's kind of Mm -hmm. this un, um, like you don't, the, the, the consent guidelines or the consent is really shaded, but Mm -hmm. like there's no verbal consent. It's all just Mm -hmm. done on action. So I don't know Mm -hmm. if it has to do with how isolated we've become and uh, a fan is just jerking off or using a toy in his home. And then we're doing our thing over here. And that isolation has caused um, the lack of responses to different things, because I don't really know what the person is doing on the other side of the camera and vice versa. They don't really know what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. So it's like, it's very very odd porn that Mm. I think it has been a little more unsettling for me than maybe the step family thing. Because Because like there's a kind of disconnect between the performers and the. Yeah. And it's literally a disconnect. Like I cannot react to the sex that I'm having. Like I can't verbally like orgasm. I'm like sitting on the phone talking to my husband while my stepson is fucking me, but I can't react to that sex. Interesting. And do you see this coming into play a lot with like this whole stuck porn genre thing that we're doing? Like I'm stuck Mm -hmm. in the washing machine. I'm stuck under the table. Um, Do you see that? That is that kind of those two genres combined there? Yeah. But then you're, you're still able to react to what's going on. You're stuck. It's a situation. Your, um, your, your fear, fright and flight kind of gets activated because you're like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can get out of this. And then somebody's helping you and they get excited 
and you're excited and it kind of helps intensify maybe um, the excitement that the two of you are feeling. So I understand that. Um, but it, it's just, I don't know. So it's it, actually the it's, opposite then because there is a lot more interaction because they're trying to help you get out of your sex situation yeah, yeah. and then they can't. And then they're like, oh, well, yeah. while we're here, 